In the next topic, you'll learn how billing works in GCP. Billing, it's no fun, but a fact of life. Let's learn more about it. Billing in GCP is set up at the GCP project level. When you define a GCP project, you link a billing account to it. This billing account is where you'll configure all your billing information, including your payment option. You can link your billing account to zero or more projects. Projects that you don't link to any billing account can only use free GCP services. Your billing account can be charged automatically and invoiced every month or at every threshold limit. You can separate project billings by setting up billing subaccounts. Some GCP customers who resell GCP services use subaccounts for each of their own clients. You're probably thinking, how can I make sure I don't accidentally run up a big GCP bill? GCP provides four tools to help. Budgets and alerts, billing export, reports, and quotas. I'll discuss each of these in more detail next. You can define budgets at the billing account level or at the project level. To be notified when costs approach your budget limit, you can create an alert. For example, with a budget limit of $20 and an alert set at 90%, you'll receive a notification alert when your expenses reach $18. You can also set up a webhook to be called in response to an alert. This webhook can control automation based on billing alerts. For example, you could trigger a script to shut down resources when a billing alert occurs. Billing export allows you to store detailed billing information in places where it is easy to retrieve for external analysis, such as a BigQuery dataset or cloud storage bucket. And reports is a visual tool in the console that allows you to monitor expenditure based on a project or services. GCP also implements quotas, which limit unforeseen extra billing charges. Quotas are designed to prevent the overconsumption of resources because of an error or a malicious attack. Quotas apply at the level of the GCP project. There are two types of quotas, rate quotas and allocation quotas. Rate quotas reset after a specific time. For example, by default, the Google Kubernetes engine service implements a quota of 1,000 calls to its API from each GCP project every 100 seconds. Allocation quotas govern the number of resources you can have in your projects. For example, depending on your region, the number of GPUs permitted varies by type and region. You can change quotas by requesting an increase from Google Cloud support. You can also use the console to request a quota change. GCP quotas also protect the community of GCP users by reducing the risk of unforeseen spikes in usage.